already. I'm not late. Uh, yeah, I'm so late. <laughs> oh, man. Everything is fine. Hopefully things aren't too scuffed. Happy Fontaine! Um, I did not open the game yesterday. Just so that- Gurgle! Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> Hello! Uh, yeah. You know what? This this actually says it correctly. It's time to go to Fontaine and hydrate. But before we do that, but before we do that, there is, in fact, a banner. <laughs> and I know I said I wouldn't pull that much, but but I am weak. I'm very weak. Oh, so I'm going to set this so that the dot goes away. I'm, I'm not going to do weapon banner. I, I don't really do weapon banner. Uh, yeah, that's true. Free, free Lynette. Uh, where do you get free Lynette? Do you just get that? Oh god, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, event. Oh wow, you just get her. I have Lynette! Awesome. Wow, gotcha pulls are off to a great start. Uh, um, let's see. Okay, and then character quests. That's okay, just forming a new area, new boss, new boss. Abyss. Okay. Test out the- Yeah, I'll do that first, I'll do that first. <laughs> Welcome to Fontaine, here is your complimentary cat girl, uh, enjoy your stay. Alright, let's see how this works. A C. Uh, when Lenny performs an aim shot, fire a prop arrow at charge level 2, consume HP to obtain prop surplus decks. Uh, when a prop arrow hits, summons a, a fun cat, I assume. And elemental skill consumes stacks to do AoE pyro damage that reach- Oh, dear. HP bouncing. Oh, wait. Isn't there, like, an artifact set that has to do with, like, uh, losing and gaining HP? That's, like, just for him, isn't it? <laughs> After casting his elemental bears, he turns into the cat. Fair, fair. I do understand. I, I too, decide to turn into cat sometimes. Okay. Interesting. Oh, huh, cat. Oh, there goes my health. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Why? You jumped! <laughs> you jerk! I have never used Cookie! I don't know how to use her! Okay. Uh, I'm guessing there's two healers here for a reason. Okay, uh, I got... Oh, is that the stacks? What is it? What does it charge up to? Three. Four. How much can I go? Four. Four. Okay, four. Eight. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> Bye. And cat time. Oh, 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 you don't stop moving. Okay. Ah! And there's a lot of taunt stuff going on. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Now, is it actually ideal to like... How many stacks is actually ideal for this? I don't know. Hey. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> um, sure. I'll do things. Why not? Come on. Okay. Mm. Wow, that does a surprising... That's a lot of damage, actually. Interesting. Fire Ganyu... Yeah, Fire Ganyu, except he hurts himself. It's fine. Uh, no, no, that's not the button! I meant, I meant to click claim. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, not what I meant. Uh... Is this a sign that I'm not gonna get him and this is the only way I'll be able to play? Also, uh, thank you so much for the resub! I only just noticed! Uh, I was too busy looking at Cat. Uh, it, it taunted me, too. Um... <laughs> I'm glad we're all here together. I still cannot unsee the little creature on Yelan's uh, coat. It's so cute. I love it. Okay. Whee! 
All tied up, huh? Oh, wow, they just died. All right. I'm so good at this. Very much so. Uh, hey. Okay, I won't lie. That's actually really fun. <laughs> ah! Ah, come on. Isn't it like a moth or something? Wait, uh, what's the moth? You're in for a little shot. You don't mean Lenny, right? If so, I'll feel betrayed. It'll be like the Ark Knights uh, horse girls again, because I'm just like, no, those don't look like horses. Those look like wolves. Oh! Well, regardless of what creature is there, it is adorable, and I appreciate it for existing. And that is the primos obtained. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna hop right in. The horse boys in our. Wait, which ones are horse boys? Hold on, I'm gonna. Ba I'm about to feel betrayed again. <laughs> Cause, I, those ears do not look like horses. Uh, do I plan on doing the Fontaine Archon quest? Yes, I am planning on doing that after I uh suffer a little bit. I'm not going to pull out the wallet. I'm just going to- I actually don't know what my pity's at. I'll check. Uh, that- it's five per page, so that makes it easy to calculate. It didn't used to be five per page, I feel like. Uh, 24, it looks like. Yeah, who is- Milnar- Who's Milnar? <laughs> oh no, I don't know these- I'm looking them up. <laughs> who the heck is Milnar? Milnar Ark Knights. Oh, what's with that funky L? He does not look like a horse! Courier is not a horse! You cannot convince me that he's a horse! Wait, no! Courier isn't a horse! He's a deer! You can't trick me! Yeah, he's a deer! But Milnar- I don't believe that these horse people are horses! They don't look like horses! <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, that aside, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it go. Oh boy, 24. I would barely be able to scrape pity, possibly, maybe. We'll try. Well, that's fair. I'll, I'll actually wait. I'll, I'll let it play out. Usually I skip. Barbara! Oh, well, we do need to be hydrated. Is it just Barbara? Yeah. It's a lot of books, though. Amazing. All right. Wait, did I not have Barbara at C6? Really? Okay. That's two. I also don't know if I... No, I don't have my guarantee either. Oh, Stringless is nice, though. Actually, I actually really like Stringless. All right, come on. Man, only one four star per pull. All right. I don't have C6 Barbara, I don't think, actually. Hello, good evening. Uh, uh, making a wish on a star. <laughs> it's Barbara. Go, Barbara, go. I guess I'll be able to tell now if I have her at C6. I don't think I have her at. Did I just not get a lot of Barbara? Oh, good, Dragon's Bane. Is it still- yeah, I still don't have her at- huh. I did claim the primos in the mail, so, uh... Well... <sighs> okay, I don't think I'm getting Lenny. I'll probably get more primos through doing the Archon quest, so I'll, I'll come back to this. I'll- I'll be back. And then I'm gonna lose it to Mona again, I don't know. It's Barbara! Okay, now I have her at C6. <laughs> okay, I can get a couple of these, though. Oh, only two. Uh, single pulls, I guess. Barbara Impact. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I'm too weak. <laughs> I think that was... Was I started with 47, then I added like... Two wishes to that, so that's 49 plus the 24. Uh, that's 73, so I'm three off of soft pity. I think. Math is hard. The gotcha got. I never really pull characters under Infinity unless it's Arknights, and that's because I don't really play the game. Um, I more pull to mess with my friend who does play the game. My Arknights account is weirdly full of things. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was the bell. Oh, everyone's been having rough time. Alas. Oh, I do have one more. That's nice. So that puts me at 74, I think. Okay, I'll come back to this. Um, uh, first. Hello, cat. First. We go to... Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. First, first, first. The, the character select screen, too? Hold on, it's not that. Um, but I do need a... Barbara, where are you? Oh, I had her at C4. Okay. Spiral a bit. <laughs> oh, you think I'm good enough for that. Uh, okay. So, I do want to look up the character party setup screen, though, because it's new and shiny and... <gasps> it's so pretty! Oh, I love this! Wait, 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 wait. Uh, so... <laughs> okay, I, I just wanted to look. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it changes based off location? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, hey, they're doing the Star Rail thing where clicking on the navigate button actually sends you to the map where it is. Oh, thank goodness. Kiwawa. Oh, Yoi? Uh, do you want to see Yoi Mutes? You know what? I'll, I'll go through all the characters I have. Because, uh, let's see. Ooh, Kon. Cool, cool. <laughs> Who needs to stand? I have to. Listen, he grew on me so fast, okay? He. <laughs> I'm not a strong individual. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Oh, are the animations the same between, uh... I, I bet they would be the same between costumes, actually. I don't know, maybe they have different ones? Mm. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. They have so much personality. Aww. For a second, I thought she was gonna chuck that at me. <laughs> yeah, you're sitting there at 60. I. 60 is a great number. Um, There's a 6 in it and a 0 in it. It's amazing. Really great number. Um, It was a personal request uh, to, to leave her at, at, at 60. Clearly, um, I'm not uh, making that up. My uncle works at Nintendo. Oh no, poor Penny. At least 269! <laughs> the dedicate. I, I think it's a lack of that, actually. Oops. It's funny because I think Yai does have, like, full leveled artifacts, which is very funny to me because, like, um, I don't think most of my characters have full artifacts. Oh, that's adorable! Ooh. Ooh, that's one of my favorites. Oh. E.T.? Oh! <laughs> Why did I get a little startled? A new artifact thought that that is great for Yae. Ooh. 
Also, I just realized that, like, I don't... I thought I had text-to-speech turned on for messages. It just hit me that there was a message under the resub. That's... I'll try to figure that out later. That's really weird. Okay. Well, I wonder if that got turned off too, actually. Because that is a thing that apparently happens. Oh! Oh, Kova! Oh, hi! I'm, I'm sorry, why is he just Newman? Okay. Mm, oh, is that part of... Blah, blah, blah. That's part of uh, one of his idols, right? Fair, fair. Oh, that's so cute! Mm hmm, rocks. I see. Rosario is about to stab me. Not from the back, from the front. I'm just gonna get stabbed. Oh god, it's like D&D. <laughs> that did happen to my character. That was fun. Oh! Oh, the rose is gone. Symbolism? Aww. I love that all of them have their little summons with them. What do you got in your hand? A knife! No! Ooh. <laughs> it's funny how he never uses that. Ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Teeny dog. It's the tweeny dog. <laughs> I can't get over that. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't mind all of them being at level one. Um... <clears throat> oh, that's cool. Me too. Uh, nope, no he's not. Y you can't see it, therefore you can't perceive it. <clears throat> okay. So, we go to... Caravan Rebot. He is one year old. <laughs> Please help, he is one years old. Okay. Huh? Why do I still have a... Oh, it's, it's in here. The, the, the thing in the blue... Okay. I should level up Lynette, though, for a... Uh, travel... overall travel team. Revolution. Viva la revolution. Um, yep. <laughs> no, no, I did not stumble upon this point before. <laughs> no, I did not. Uh, good memory, Paimon. Time has already passed since then. And it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Yeah, she disconnected everyone from the internet. That was corrupting them. Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time. And then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Oh, true, the free wishes. Oh, yeah, I do have a couple of standard from the, uh, the monthly, like, buying the star glitter? Star... You, you know, the, the, the other currency. Uh, hard to say what'll happen. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Time to go revolutionize another country. Thank God Paimon remembers everything so we don't have to. I have a feeling... That sounds like a quote. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the magnet. Oh. Okay, I'm sharing a brain cell traveler now. Huh? Me? Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into any trouble. At most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. Yeah, what's up with that? Uh, hmm. Anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Next stop, Funtane. Uh, look who it is. Oh, yeah. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Help, we are, uh, we, we don't have any sense of direction. Please guide us. Oh, it's Dia. Hmm. Since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. 
Sure. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. <laughs> that look. This is not the Dia story quest. This is the Archon quest. The Funtane. But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. Probably for the best, because I don't have enough keys for story quests, actually. <clears throat> That's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about, anyway? Trying to figure out how to get to the ocean from the desert. Ah! Huh? Y you serious? <laughs> Why did we just get glared at? Can't say I saw that coming. Mm, but you are travelers, after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Ooh, they're super long. Okay, I'll probably split it up over a couple of uh, days then. That's a good thing. The the fact that they're longer means that the story probably has a lot of room to breathe, which is Something good. Something you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Oh, was it the guy in the hat that was glaring at us? Seems like the right hair color. And I think that's a Fontaine outfit, so... Hmm, hmm. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? If you're okay with them also potentially getting arrested, then go for it. We're probably gonna get arrested on setting foot in there. Just given our track record. Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue Paimon, no. miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. I can't wait to get stalked by the guy with the hat. Anime glasses peeking, definitely a villain. <gasps> but, but Welt has glasses in the anime glasses thing. <gasps> I mean, there is an AU out there, actually. An official AU. So, uh, when do He's you He's also leave very him? cool. <laughs> uh, journeys should be spontaneous. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where is that list Paimon made? Hmm. No. What's up with you? Why are you leaving? That's actually yes, more sus. Not needing a going away party or anything. <laughs> it's sad enough to see you go like this. I wouldn't even be mad. I I wouldn't be mad. That's not the correct emotion. Um like Evil Welt is really cool. Uh I would not want to interact with Evil Welt. He wants to kill all of humanity. <laughs> but he was really cool. <clears throat> Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving <laughs> quietly. <laughs> Who are you, generic NPC model man? <laughs> what are your secrets? What's under that hat? Deception? By the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? Ooh, these are really that good. Ooh, I look forward to it then. I mean, it's, it's literally directly competing with Sumeru, so... Mm. Uh, Nahida will know. Oh. Well, that's to me what Kafka is to everyone else. Yeah, you're right. It also doesn't help that there are at least two fan arts out there of Welt in Kafka's outfit. Two different ones. Two different people have decided to do this. Anyway. Ooh, okay, I am looking forward to these then. then Your guys are hyping it up. Goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Don't worry, we'll do your character quest eventually. Take care. <laughs> like, so that you can avoid it at all costs? Alright, Pixar didn't ha happen twice! <laughs> Fine! Uh, hold on, let me go dig it up. <sighs> okay, so there's this one. And I need to scroll up a little bit. I, I found this one earlier. <laughs> you said you wanted pigs! <laughs> no, I didn't have it on speed dial, I swear! <sighs> uh, hold on... Oh, here's the other one. This one took me a little longer. 
It's not bookmarked! <laughs> Y'all! <sighs> getting bullied again. I'm getting bullied. Hey! <laughs> Lurking till asleep. Oh, shoot. Oh, I hope you have a really good rest when you eventually fall asleep. That second one's kind of cursed. <laughs> yeah, I saw that second one first. Uh, but the the more recent one, yeah. Too late for excuses. Come on. <laughs> oh, wow. The desert is right across from the water, I see. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. A, a curse for some, a blessing for others. Oh, right next to a viewpoint. Hmm. I guess I should do my sightseeing log in 14 someday. Anyway, that's just reminding- How do I get over there? Huh. Is there like a Wayfarer ship or something? Um... Yeah, it is really weird that the desert is right next to the beach. You just flew all the way? Can you reach it? I, I swear they're not bookmarked! Those weren't bookmarked, I swear! It's just, uh, I, I sent it yesterday to, to a friend, and I don't think I'm painting myself in a better light, actually. Can I land on this boat? Will this boat take me there? I'm not gonna have enough stamina for this. Uh... There was a wave rider point? Where? 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 Oh! Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. Okay, I'm gonna go and grab that then. The tab was already- no! <laughs> no, it wasn't! I swear! <laughs> also, uh, thank you. I, uh, I drew it in a real hurry, um, <laughs> pointedly ignoring the other, uh, chat messages right now. Um, wow! <laughs> yeah, I drew it, like, an hour or so before, uh, uh, my Kirara full stream. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, there it is. So it is. Does this count as robbing the ship? Why is this on the boats? Okay. Awesome. One Hydroculus. Exposed. No, I swear. Ooh, can I like go in through the channel? Will I be stopped? Let me in. Me in. Aww. Badge. Okay. I assume I talk to you? You look like the person who runs things. No? Um. Seems like a nice gig. You are not the person I need to talk to. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> or is it just an auto cutscene that I was supposed to activate? Wait, let me up. For a quick second, I thought that it wasn't going to let me climb out of there and I was going to drown. Open for reference. No! No, they're not! <laughs> also, I wish I could draw, like, good non chibi art. Oh, it was just an auto cutscene. After crossing all that sand and water, we finally made it! Oh, this must be Fontaine's port! They took my boat! <laughs> it's gone! that the industry here is extremely developed and there are all kinds of unusual machines like boat snatching machines can't believe they confiscated my my boat grand theft nautical we just watched them tow it away in the cutscene like in the background um yeah it's pretty cool just the sights as a tourist is nice but maybe it would be better if we found something to do yeah like get <laughs> climb over the walls of the city what do you think? Oh yeah, like that's such an easy thing to accomplish. Good idea. One million more to reclaim it. It's fine. I'll just teleport to me. Seeking out the seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Um. Oh, both of these things, and also to find the truth. Yeah, yep. The more we can learn, the better. So, what do you think the Hydro Archons like? Will we get along? Nahida said that she 
has a very unique personality. Whatever that means. <laughs> from what I have gathered from, like, one comment from the internet, a gremlin. Which, that seems fun. To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. I can't wait to mention the Hydra Archon and then they immediately freeze up like, oh, No, not the, yeah, not the Hydra see, Archon. It's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Ooh, super gremlin. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. Okay, given the trailer, I'm like kind of worried that like they sound like they're talking about a show, but now I'm worried that that's like the court. And this is a guy who like, ooh, and that they're very dissociated from the concept of actually like sentencing people to a... Uh, I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Oh, and they're all talking about Still, stories. This story is quite the tearjerker. Oh no, everyone's a little screwy here, huh? I'm immediately uh, on edge. Me. <laughs> Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Uh, hi, we are professional eavesdroppers and um, uh, pokers into all kinds of business, uh, most of which are not our own. Uh, oh, Lynette, what? Hi. I don't think it was a play. I don't think it was a play. I'm a little worried. A uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Okay, at least they... Ah, oh, man. The fact that they're talking about a case in these kinds of terms, like, with plot twists and, like, and, like, the ending, that... That's a little worrying. Really? Like, uh, a Well, and then I should probably go back to my teapot at some point. I've just abandoned it. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? Based on. And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. I'm. Uh, whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. No. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. No, listen, courtroom theater is a thing. This actually is like a thing to a small extent, but uh... Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. So they're all delusional. But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously? Me too. That's a good question, Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. I don't think taking out this one person is going to solve the entire system. Huh. I'm familiar with courtroom drama. I'm <laughs> Judge Judy all the time. It, Ace Attorney, but I'm wondering if this is, like, not so much Ace Attorney. Also, hi. Um, but just because, like... They don't seem to be really aware of the consequences of what happens to the person after the show is over, and that's concerning. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. I, I feel like I get to say too soon to that one. <sighs> and as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. Oh, it's Nouvellet. But also, uh, absolutely just, huh? As well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. A oh, that's a mouthful. By the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. Oh no, not another machine created by an Archon that people inevitably put their full trust into, which ends up stabbing them in the back. Not again. Say it five times fast. I can't say it once! Mechanique d'analyse cardinal? Oh, I, I missed one. Or oratrice? Or oratrice? Oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal? I don't think I'm saying that right. 
Listen, I can say other thing, other like tongue twisters. That is not one of them. <laughs> oh, and they never shorten it. Oh, that's fun. This is the nation. False charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. Oh yeah, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, sure. <clears throat> or a tree. That sounds like a bird. Get arrested, probably. Oh, that's easy. Just go to the opera house. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Uh -huh. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. This is actually the most reasonable uh, appointing a time to meet the Archon has been. Huh. huh. No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described badly before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets now! Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. That is not a very respectful way to put that. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I mm. guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. In front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellette. So Nouvellet is the one running the show. Or someone else's anyway. That's what it sounds like. Uh... <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here. But nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. <laughs> the Archon to come out with a t-shirt cannon. You just fire a t-shirt cannon and there goes the Archon <laughs> into the audience. Yeah, I'm in Fontaine now, and I am immediately on edge. Uh, they seem to like her, but they don't seem to treat her as an Archon. I get it. Thank you! At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. But who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. <laughs> right to be on edge? Yeah, everyone's really blasé about the whole, uh... You know, sentencing people to, uh, to, to, uh, I guess, but punishment, I guess. Seems a little, hmm. Hey, what are you looking over there for? There's a cat girl. Huh, maybe something's the matter. <gasps> She's going to jump into the water, is she? Hey, is that the first conclusion well, that you would draw? Maybe we better go check on her. It's just daytime TV. Yeah, no, that's what it sounds like, and that's kind of concerning. Hmm. Hello, cat girl. It is I, cat girl. Girl cat. How do you do, fellow cat girl? Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. Yeah, the crumbling uh, facade of the justice system. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. Oh, I remember that trailer, the storyline trailer. The god of justice lives for the spectacle of the courtroom. But even she knows not... Oh, uh, was it not to mess with the powers of the divine or something like that? Which is also concerning for other reasons. <laughs> I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Oh, in Sumeru? Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? 
Um, I don't know. No Cat. people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. Oh, it's fresh water. And though I can still see that hill clearly in my memories, now it's been completely submerged. Oh, so I got terraformed. Oh, even she knows not to make an enemy of the divine. Yeah, that's what it is. Which, uh, are we finally gonna get Celestia knowledge? Because that's been, like, hanging over us. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. So there actually was a sea? Like a saltwater sea? We'll have to wait and see, yeah. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. Like, actually, or uh, metaphorically? This is kind of up in the air. Okay, I'm, I'm increasingly getting concerned. Yes, I did slip in a sea pun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I'm getting increasingly concerned, and it, it hasn't even been like ten minutes since I stepped foot into Fontaine. <sighs> Not even in Fontaine. Us. Oh, Hi. that's great. Hi. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Hi, Lenny. Are you Lynette's new friends? What's happening? Oh, and you are? Break another world record? Oh, good. Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister, Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is a traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. <laughs> Their parents were really lazy when naming them, huh? <laughs> we were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Although, the third brother is named something different from an A, I think. Welcome to Fontaine. Our justice system is a farce and a spectacle, and our entire nation is sinking. Ah, Venice. Uh, not the justice system in Venice, I mean, the, the whole sinking thing. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, that face. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. Uh, that's because you always steal all my lines. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? <laughs> oh god, they're becoming self-aware. I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Oh, good. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. when she said that the water is engulfing your memories and that it won't be long before it engulfs you too oh that it's from a prophecy, prophecy? that's been circulating in fontaine for some time now have prophecies been a thing well, i suppose prophecy oh, okay. isn't exactly the right word because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty there's no doubt about what's happening in fontaine now you're being very open about this with a complete stranger where to begin Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Hello, traveler. Hi. Are you about to do a magic trick? Hello. And hello, Paimon. Why am I on edge again? Hey! Why didn't Paimon get a handshake? Oh, you're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Okay... Her hand is teeny, but you could do a little, little handshake. By the way, we were just getting ready shake to go to the house to meet the Hydroarchon. Would you be able to show us the way? Oh, 
So you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. I can't wait to go to the courthouse and be horrified as all the spectators watch on in glee. Please follow. Uh. Where are we going? My boat is back! They returned it! Oh, this is it? We're gonna drown? Uh oh. Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Wait, are we being ar I was joking! I was joking about getting arrested as soon as we walked into Fontaine. Wait. <gasps> Clorinde. Ahem, <clears throat> sorry. What? Whoa! What did I do? I just existed! <laughs> Illegal parking of a nautical vehicle! Oh shoot, you're right. Well, they took it again. It's fine. So I don't think she did know. My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all, raise your glasses in celebration. If you don't have one, then just Oh, her eyes are cool. Oh, she's a theater kid. No boating license on top of that? I... Uh, look. <laughs> they... They don't give out boating licenses when you, uh, um, you know... <laughs> it's really funny because I definitely have violated the gliding license thing. Like, I've jumped on, like, big animo slimes. That's actually illegal. Um... <clears throat> standing on a box. <laughs> yeah! As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived. I don't like that Come, you know that immediately. Let's make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion who have journeyed here from distant lands. Can I leave? Uh No, I don't like this at all. This reminds me of the part in Sumeru where like everyone was like congratulating us because they were like possessed by the internet. Ah. She's talking about us. Unfortunately. Nobody here seems to be holding a glass. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you really your first... wake as you okay. visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. I mean, something, something, the storyline they, uh, trailer seeking to judge all other gods. Hmm. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the... <laughs> Correct, Banner. Fear. The turmoil and chaos law left in our wake. Well, yeah, everywhere we go, we revolutionize the country and, you know. I, I don't think she wants to. I welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. I don't think she actually values, uh, intelligence. Because that means potentially people who would go against her wishes. Uh, finding the Archon was real easy! Yeah. I still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. That's really concerning! But the Hydro Archon's entrance was, uh... Theater kid. <laughs> describe it? A little over the top? Yeah, I really do love her design, though.
Commanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. <laughs> Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. Yeah! Uh, you're so cool. You, you're awesome. <laughs> you had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Oh, she is very entertaining to watch. But boy is uh Are we supposed to say this out loud? She'll hear us. She's gonna hate us. That's a bad thing. What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm. What else should I say? Where can we find my sibling? Is she waiting for us to start talking? The dude that hurt us in the- Oh! That makes sense. The guy who hurt us in the desert. Screams internally in the last- uh, the solid movie. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Everything is a stage, and everything is an act. Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? Is that our title? How's that our title? <laughs> hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course. That's the blonde traveler. <laughs> the one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see duel? her. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. Oh, my God. Got to see this. Do the summoner summit, maybe? <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. Oh, that is a lot of old Joel Sama energy. Like, part of me wonders if the Japanese has her doing the <laughs> kind of laugh. Like, she would. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this Why? from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Uh, now she wants to fight? Aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves? <laughs> Fighting gods, I've got a resume. I think we should just leave. If we fight her, like, <laughs> Welcome to Fontaine, now fight me! I feel like if we fight, we're gonna get arrested. We're gonna get arrested! Put the sword away! Oh, they don't mean a duel in the... Are you not afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel against the Divine? Oh, it was a bluff. <laughs> what are you trying to do, traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? I'm accepting her challenge. Stand down, Clorend. Clorend. This you is now the Clorend. Draw their sword against a god. He is obviously a true warrior. Well, put it away, I guess. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be coward. Thrilled. A mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <sighs> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. You see. Then, as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! Can I call a lawyer? I've got two lawyer friends. Like, ugh. Oh, all right. Now that'll be worth seeing. I feel like it doesn't matter if we have our lawyer friends here, actually, because their court system is, it isn't judged by a jury. It's judged by a machine that she powers. Of course she's going to win. Right. This is Fontaine, after all. It's such a grand opera house. It would be a pity not to use it. Isn't licensed to practice law in Fontaine. Uh, to be fair, it doesn't seem like anyone is. It seems to be automated, actually. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. 
Paimon, we're gonna get arrested! Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? We just got here. <laughs> what? Oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? I was joking that we were gonna get arrested! <laughs> on setting foot in here, that was the joke! Oh, oh, come on! According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects. She's not an object! City limits ...during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? By law, the definition of an object is a non-sentient being. Paimon is very clearly a sentient being with her own will and ability. So we are not releasing any flying objects. She is floating of her own accord. Even then, flying and floating are two separate things, and there- I will fight you! I want to fight her. I want to fight her so bad. <laughs> Emergency food is an object checks out. Well, we're not releasing a flying object. She is a floating object. She does not elevate any higher. Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Yeah, and she was already oh, floating. Lady exactly. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. Also, these laws are real Alice in Wonderland kind of laws. Oh, boy. Uh, you call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, Can I make the joke of pointing oh, out that she's not an I'm object? Precisely. Now, no, I have an objection. Objection! objection. Like, objection on, like, three points in your stupid law. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun. But if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the oh. definition of a flying... Oh! <laughs> Same page! Let's go! You tell her, Linny! Finally, someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Do I even have that law? I would like to bet that she made that up right this in instance. Um, because she's the only one who remembers all the laws, then everyone just automatically believes that, uh, that's been a law that's been written in the books. So, I don't think that that was actually a law that was in the books. Um, and it's overly specific like this, just so that it only applies to us. Technically, no, but, um, if we want to get super pedantic with this kind of thing, um, names don't necessarily, like, confer the the um <laughs> the properties of being an object i'm about to get super pedantic in this region <laughs> i'm sorry it's like a law from the 1600s that no one bothers to enforce anymore yeah there's a lot of weird laws out there there's like don't bounce a pickle on the street I, that's like a law somewhere there's also a law that's like don't bring a lion to a movie theater which is like fair but also who did that to put that into the law books um, so I don't have a law degree, but I am a forensic linguist, so I have a little experience with, like, reading through cases and stuff, even if it's not in the lawyer kind of standpoint. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I, I'm very pedantic. Yeah, there's a law for not bouncing a pickle on a street. It's somewhere, if you look it up, that's one of them. I don't think I voiced a lawyer before, actually. Hmm. Huh. What could have happened? Uh, I don't know. You can't go outside with a glass cup of water. <laughs> glass cup full of water. There's a lot of- I think there's one where it's like, you can't commit a crime with a bulletproof vest, which if you're already breaking the law, you're gonna, you know, break the law more. <laughs> anyway. Ah, great magician Linny, my beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object. But how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? She's talking to you. Uh, I don't think I can deliver justice in a, in a country where uh, justice has been um, withheld and redefined. No carrying ice cream in your back pocket on a Sunday. I've heard that one before, I think. That's a weird one, too. As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. Oh god, it's two theater kids. 
So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Huh? Oh, I was about to say, like, is he gonna make it look like she's not, like, uh, flying? Yeah. Ta-da! Alright. I was about to go semantically pedantic. Hey, when did you do that? Oh. Oh, so he already knew. Okay, so this probably was a law then. That's such a weird law. Who was she targeting initially? And that's why he ha shook our hands. Okay. Vive la revolution! Down with the bourgeoisie! As you can all clearly <laughs> see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. Yeah, even, by the way, even though, like, I would be like, oh, uh, she's not an object sort of a thing, I'm pretty sure that Farina would be able to, like, twist that around and be like, oh, and just redefine object on the spot, so this is way better of a solution. Ah, Fontaine is a whole ass circus. Yes. Yes, it is. You realize that she doesn't refute that she is an object. <laughs> oh, no. Huh? You call that magic? You've got to be joking. No, this is called saving our asses in a nonsensical kingdom. <laughs> well, I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. Ooh, if the perception of the audience is changing, she might have to cave. Frida <laughs> <laughs> would make for a terrible dungeon master. Yeah, no, absolutely. Definitely one of those types where it's like, if you do not solve my puzzle my way, uh, I'm going to drop 10,000 rocks on you. It no longer holds water. <laughs> Oh yeah, Verena's laugh is amazing. I really want to know if the Japanese is the oh ho ho. Rocks fall, everyone dies. Suddenly, a Tarask. <laughs> oh. Amusing, very amusing, Lenny. Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. Uh huh. Today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? Paimon, it's not helping your case that you're mimicking my my uh, pose exactly. In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. I do like dealing with an antagonistic Archon. Because, like, we've already had Archons that, like, uh... What was it? That, 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 that have helped us. Um, but this one is very much the first, like, openly super antagonistic. And I know that the Shogun was also, like, antagonistic, but, like, um, a lot more detached, I guess. In this case, it's very much, uh, but right from the get-go. Okay. Valid grounds, I will not I'm so on edge. <laughs> but even the gods of other lands. You can't extend your laws to other countries! Not unless you want to start another Archon War. Oh, don't start another Archon War. Please don't. It's not the oh ho ho? Oh. I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! Oh boy. Well, Paimon, you are not allowed to fly five feet away, like, <laughs> five feet away from me at all times, because otherwise we will be arrested. And just like that, she's gone. Well, that's the most unpredictable Archon Paimon's ever seen. I never even had a chance to ask her anything. But that's a problem for future Paimon. That whole scene just now was really... <sighs> <laughs> Mood. Yeah, I don't know how she would deal with, like... I don't think she has enough power to go against the other Archons. Like, Jolie technically quote-unquote died, so he can't really take part in it officially. But, like... Um, I don't really think that she stands a chance. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks, Lenny. Don't mention it. 
I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. I think he did think that it would come in handy. I think he knows how screwed up this place is. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? I don't want to go and make an appointment with her, actually. She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. I... reasonable as long as you work within her bounds of reason. So very... queen of hearts. Anyway, <sighs> I might had no idea you were a magician, Linny. Really? Kind of like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? I guess technically, magicians don't exist in the other country. Okay, I'll, I'll let that slide. Um, notice an underlying with Marina apart from her spouting a lot of BS. An underlying problem with Farina. She... Here's the thing. She's really going off and she... Like, she doesn't really have the spine to really go through with a lot of this stuff. She doesn't really have the power here, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> mm. I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. Something, something, puppet on a string. Bruno, it's not just spineless, it's like, she caves to the audience. Wherever the audience perception is going, where their desires go, she caves to it. Which is telling. It's why the, the people don't really respect her, even though they do like her. So, whoever else is in power, which all of, I know, all that I know right now is Nouvellette. So maybe he's the one in power. He did get a little Monsieur in front of his name, so maybe. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine, the Opera House. Hopefully not on trial, right? But isn't the Opera House <laughs> criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the oh. Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. Yeah, noted. Also, I guess another thing with Farina is that, like, she... She has a lot of bluster, and I think that's also just, like, the case with Fontaine itself. Like, there's a lot of, like, theater kid energy and a lot of, like, pizzazz and stuff, but it seems like it's there to hide whatever deeper things are going on underneath. That's what I think, anyway. Eh. Going back to the red string cork board. And speaking of performances, <sighs> I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? Well, seeing as you did just save our butts. Yeah. My brother's always excited to make new friends. No. Oh, <laughs> take care. Um. No, I'm not gonna feed or kid it up. <laughs> Take care. Never-ending journey of avoiding spoilers. Fair enough, it is a difficult sea to swim in. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now. And we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. I would be delighted to not be put on trial. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Mind you, I'm still a little sus of Lineal and Annette because in the trailer, they were with the Fatui, right? Which is also concerning, but I think at this rate, we might have to work with the Fatui against this entire system. So like, I think I'm willing to do it. I, I, um, I don't really like what's happening here. Oh man, rock in a hard place. Uh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. Scrolling Twitter was like dodging gunfire. That's fair. Lorend is, uh, is firing some shots. At this point, I'm right now for you guys. I... Here's the thing. I think that the Fatui's goals, ultimately, again, based on the, I guess, the Tavat storyline trailer, I don't necessarily disagree, and this is also me pulling from my pot of theories and stuff, but, like, I genuinely, like, think that their ultimate goal isn't necessarily a bad one. The means that they do to achieve those goals, I'm way more, like... Um, uh, skeptical of, I, I don't really agree with them. Um, they just want the Nelsies, but like, 
the thing is like on the one hand um they do make deals and stuff uh with they they did the ma make the deal with Jonghui to like take the Nyonsis without like having to necessarily go into conflict with them but they also like the the Tori like you know experimented on children like that's a very very harsh line for me to like agree with the Fatui on um yeah it's I I think that ultimately they are gonna they are gonna have like a goal that's like understandable but uh their methods are a little meh, which is the reason why I don't really like them yeah though they don't harbor it's <laughs> I think that they're the lesser evil in this particular country, maybe. Depends on who it is. If it's Tatori, then no, I'm going to punch him. Well, I'm gonna get in line third place to punch him because Kale and Wanderer both get first dibs. Yeah, they do have like some sort of freedom, but even then, like, um, they're harbingers. They are like the face of the Fatui, and whatever they do ends up influencing the appearance of them as a whole. So not being able to like <laughs> curb that kind of behavior is also like uh it, it, it also does show that the Fatui is letting that happen I guess just because like of the way that the organization is is like achieving its goal like I, I don't like how Signora did the uh did the thing in Mondstadt and stole the Nilsis and stuff so like I don't know it's it's a whole lot of <laughs> Which is good. It's good that these things are really debatable and like difficult to to really Yeah, this is thing with uh, Venti. And I know that people like to be like, well Venti didn't help her sort of a thing. I think he was asleep. <laughs> Which isn't like personal beef. There was like personal beef technically, but like it's kinda like misattributed, I think, just because like he he, he had a very hands-off approach to things, and, like, he also was asleep. He genuinely w- he- he wasn't awake for a lot of shit. I don't know if- <sighs> No, Venti was asleep. He fell asleep after the, uh, um, uh, Dvalin and Durin battle, and then woke up about before the, uh, before um, we got there, he was sleeping. He takes very long naps. Um, if you read the uh, the Genshin comic, um, he was asleep for a period of time, woke up, and then saw that like there was slavery in Mondstadt, so he took he he stepped in for that. But like, yeah, he he takes very long naps. So yeah, I. It's all very complicated. This is a magical item known what? as a magic pocket. I have one of those. It's my Perhaps inventory. You can help me distribute them to the people here. It's a bag. Huh? What are they going to use it for? Um, have people cosplayed Kirara? Uh, people. I've I've seen people cosplay Kirara at a uh, Otakon. Unless you're talking about like my YouTuber thing, which isn't technically out yet. Uh, in which case, no. <laughs> Uh, Vendy says he was hurt and left the waste after the Archon Wars, so he was sleeping. Yeah, he was sleeping. And then after the Durin battle, too, that would, took a lot out of him. So he had to rest after that, too. About that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, prophecy. You asked me before. Sorry, Lenny, I left you on hold. Right? <laughs> Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. Yeah, Kenshin lore was really fun. I, I was a lore diver in the past. Like, I read, like, the, uh, uh, the item descriptions and stuff, too. That's, that, that's what I did in the 1.0s. It says Ooh. that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. Oh, that's terrifying. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. 
Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. I... Hmm. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. Mm. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. Ah. Uh. Mm. Many places have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. Okay. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. Is it so that they can take their stuff safely and move? As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing Ah, yeah, capacity. that makes sense. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, Hyman gets it! It's like preparing for a rainy day! But this is more than a bit of rain. Hmm. Is there no way to prevent the disaster? Hmm. Where did the Perhaps prophecy come from, absolute though? absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. I mean, to be fair, if I were given a free magical bag- <gasps> My boat! Okay, anyway. Uh, if I were given a free magical bag that can carry, like, uh, 20 times the amount of, of storing space in the bag, I would want that. I don't care if I believe the whole, like, uh, water level rising thing. I just like that bag. That's awesome. Bag of holding? So Let's go. You're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Oh, favorite vibe. Is it the uh, uneasiness mixed with the very pretty aesthetics? <laughs> Thanks. Because there's a lot of uneasiness. On my behalf, when you get the chance. <laughs> yeah, they're they're blonde. That's it. I isn't there like a shoot? Isn't there like a folk story or something? Like a is it Celtic or something? No, maybe not Celtic. But there's like some story out there where like the the protagonist's name like was basically just like. Blondie, essentially. I think so, anyway. Hello! Would you like a free bag? Does this count as bribery? I won't get arrested, right? Uh, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. How could you not have use for a storage thing? What? Everyone needs more storage in their lives. believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. Hello. I <laughs> swindled into an Emma. Okay, but like, the product is a bag that can hold, like, probably furniture in it. Like, that's cool. And I'm giving it out for free. So, and I'm not expecting them to give it out. So, like, you know, it's not an MLM. It's just... Practical. <laughs> As time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus, could people set foot on land. My inventory management is so bad that I would fill to the brim. Yeah, I would need multiple magic patches. 
I would need many. I, I, in fact, I need him to teach me how to make them. I think that's the important thing. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. You can't evolve. You can't adapt to the water. That was done over time. <laughs> Your generation will not live if you go into the water and drown. Dude. What are you on? We're just trying to give you a bag. Use it for your shopping and your groceries. Uh, right, I'll take it. God. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. What is up with your co cognition? What is up with that? How do you function? Oh, uh, where's the last person? Other side. Hello, person on a boat. I mean, you're on a boat, so I feel like you need this the least out of people. But hey, would you like storage capacity? I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. But it seems like it's within living memory, so you're gonna see that happen within your lifetime. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. What is wrong with Mundane? <laughs> you should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. It's also just useful. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that if I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. At the very least, you could, like, use it for, like, I don't know, transporting goods or something. Heck. Oh? You already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some, uh, interesting opinions. Yeah. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Hey, do you want this bag? Once upon a time, a chicken laid an egg. <laughs> that chicken was named Paul, and therefore I cannot uh, look into the future and believe in this prophecy. Just wanted to give you a bag. <laughs> Fun things the least, uh, least enthusiastic about revisiting. I mean, it's really pretty, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a doozy so far. Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in oh. the Port of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. Teach so me your you ways. Want to materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help. Many hands make light work. Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Ah, <gasps> new materials. Okay. Um... Oh, okay, so like on the beach? Is it literally just made out of flowers? These? Before this goes away, before this goes away! Come on, come on. Yes, got it! Ha! I have not jumped into the water yet. Well, actually, no, I have. <laughs> not on purpose. Blink, blink. Oh, but do you, do you mean like underwater exploration? Because I haven't gotten that yet. You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. You guys don't have hydro. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Heart Otherwise, saving. I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. Are... are you a robot? I'm getting Catherine vibes. <sighs> hmm. Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. 
Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Fort of Fontaine. <laughs> Almost 3 a.m. Yeah, rest well. Oh, uh, okay. So, we're not allowed to, to yeah. Bye. Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Um, well, now I have. Uh, what's wrong with her? I must didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Oh. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Oh, he's right. Look in the sky the next chance I get. Okay. Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can Is ride the lift over there. Your job? Top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Um, all, all right. right. Let's go. Okay, look up. What do you mean? I feel like the stars... The stars are clearer, right? There's... A certain thing? I... I can't find the moon. I'm trying. I, I assumed that's what you were saying, but I can't find the moon. It's gone. <laughs> Oh, what's Kiara's party pose? Ooh, 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 it's very cute. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's to the east. Sorry, I, I didn't mean the moon. I, it, Celestia, moons, you know. Look, she do a little nya. The east. East. Those are clouds. That's a boat. <laughs> I'm looking east. Where? Yeah, I think I have to... Well, I'm taking the lift anyway, so... That works. Wait, where is the lift? Oh, it's up. What? Top of the Okay. Elevator music? I mean, how fast is this lift? Maybe it'll just shoot on up. Oh. Oh no, we actually have to sit on this lift. Why is it spinning? Oh my gosh. is this? Oh, 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 oh god. Give me that teleport. Give me, give me, give me, give me. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I absolutely refuse to ever take that elevator ever again. Huh? Rush of water? Uh, <laughs> the water. The water is speaking to me. <laughs> okay, so Hydro. Oh, Paimon isn't gonna go. Okay. Alright. I'll fish you out again. Okay. So mysterious power that flows out from the statue. Oh. Under the protection of that. And only in Fontaine. Okay, that makes sense. I think it's just one for the first one, right? No, it's 20. <laughs> okay, so if I look to the east... Oh, there it is! I don't remember what it looked like before. <laughs> I actually have no idea if it's closer or not. So that's fun. Oh, where's the Hydroculus? It's probably up. Um, 
this way. Puppy? <gasps> oh, little dog! Oh, this is a good boy. This is a good boy. Okay. This is the spot where Linny wanted us to wait. Mm, I feel like... Oh, there she is. I feel like I've seen Celestia in the past before. Oh, giving it an actual in-game model rather than it being like a 2D thing. That makes sense. Oh, so it has a model now? Ooh. Why can we not pet? It is forbidden. We'll be put into jail or trial. Oh. <gasps> Isn't that her? Stop, thief. I don't want to, I, I don't want to, I do not want people to be arrested in this country just because, mm, okay. Uh, no. Okay, our job's to block the path. She might also be trying to lure us away. Oh, no sign of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while now. Why am I wonders if Lenny caught the thief? Too bad we don't have phones. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's, go. let's go. But first, there was a shiny. Wait, that's not that's not what I meant. Give. Oh, I thought it was a book. Um, I'm assuming that's down. Oh, never mind. You're right there. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Oh, 3.0 onward. It had a 3D model. Oh, okay. That's neat. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief at stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I wonder if that was intentional, actually. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Hmm. All right, let's put this little detour. Wonder how that's us. gonna come back later. We should go to the court of Fontaine now. Oh, bye, Paimon. <laughs> Aquabus. Oh, wait, there's a Hydroculus. Oh no, is it gonna take me away? is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. Oh wow, this is the first bit of public transportation that we've seen, I think. It's pretty convenient. I mean, besides the roller coaster. But the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh... Well, <laughs> you don't really talk that much. Lenny. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. And the various lifts around the world. I mean, to be an older brother. I mean, like public transit in like the, the cities itself, right? Are there any in? I am trying to think. Fontaine no car. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. There is only boat. Wait, no, don't don't take it. There was a hydroculus. <gasps> Charlotte? Oh, 
<gasps> Charlotte! Huh? Are we gonna recognize? What? Traveler! Yes! Charlotte! Hello! Oh, I never guessed I'd bump into you while riding the Aquabus. In the story of my life, this is big news. What are you doing in Fontaine? I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. Oh. You sure you didn't? That was a pretty big spectacle earlier. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a different cutscene. They did that with a uh, wanderer. Um, well, I guess Scarmouche. Um, where if you didn't meet him, then uh, the uh, cutscene was different. So oh, I didn't even click that anything. No need for introductions, Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. What are your opinions on the trials at the Opera House? You could still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Uh... Seems like you want different types of news. Oh, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. Don't worry, we'll give you some. Really after is exclusive, sensational news <laughs> that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Uh, give it a couple of days. We'll we'll give you something. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird, oh! When that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. Ooh, that's an old case. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age, and that they've all vanished without a trace. Hmm. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. That's interesting. A uh, copycat? Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Guys, I have a crack theory. Remember when I was like, Haha, is Lynette a robot? Please don't imagine that, Linny. I don't have this on auto! Oh! Huh. I'm wondering now, is... Because... This this can't have been brought up for no reason. Did Hey, we're almost there. Look. Is Lynette missing? Mm. Ooh, the music though. Uh, I'm aware that I'll find out. Oh boy. I'm sure it's a little bit more than what I'm thinking, but <laughs> Okay. Because here's the thing, Frem and A can make robots, right? <laughs> uh, 
Anyway, uh, uh, no need to confirm or deny. Uh, I'm just throwing theories at a wall right now. <laughs> Yeah, Fontaine is gorgeous. I, I am partial to, like, I guess, water locations. They're generally very, very pretty. Oh, I really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. Uh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Okay, I even hope we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya! Hopefully it's not about our trial when we, in when we inevitably get arrested. <laughs> For something nonsensical. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, I might want to know where to start anyway. And honestly, let's stick with someone who knows the local laws. Laws. There we go. Local lols. Oh. Am I allowed to- nope, still not. Oh! Charlian? <laughs> what? Oh, it is really pretty. I would still be too terrified to be here, but it is pretty. Oh, that's... there we go. Uh, go to where Linny is. Where's the... Statue of the Seven here? Maybe I should grab that first, actually. Because it's generally in this direction? Nope. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't climb like this. <laughs> I'll, I'll take to the streets. Alright. Oh, it's not gonna look. Okay. Statue's on the higher level. Oh, uh, okay. I'll get there eventually. Oh, it's from an A. From a, from a, from a, from a abode. Words. Ah, from an A. You're home. From an A. From an A. Where did everyone else go? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. <laughs> What's with the father in quotes? What is this, Full Metal Alchemist? Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremini. He is a phenomenal diver. Uh, hello. Oh, baby. Very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. You seem to have a big family. <laughs> Since there are others? Uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Uh, yeah, go ahead. We'll go and get lost and get arrested. It's fine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm, okay, a scene. I... We were letting them have a private conversation. Okay. Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes. I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Oh? Oh, people are reacting to the rain. Hmm, looks like rain. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Fontaine's weather sure is weird. I live on the East Coast. Weather's just like that sometimes. Does it never rain in cities? Wait, does it never rain? Oh my god, I've never noticed that. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. 
It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the opera house, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. It only rains during trials? Save for the Ocylophyte. Oh, mm. huh. It's interesting. Hmm? What's wrong, Femine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. Oh, more legends. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro dragon! Hydro dragon! Don't cry! Hmm. Yeah, another one of the elemental dragons. Just a legend after all. I mean, we've met dragons. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. That's fair, too. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. It's already getting late. Is that unusual? Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Isn't that like one of the... Shoot, isn't that like one of the Ar Araneuses? Those are Araneus. Those are, those are jurors, like the, in Greek mythology, right? Question mark? <laughs> Something like that. They're not very friendly. Anyway, uh, see you at the performance. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremenay? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials to the Bomo workshop and deliver them to the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremenay can be quite introverted. Mood. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. Fremenay has always been a little afraid of her. Yeah, it's mood. No trouble at all. Don't worry, we're on the case. Sorry for the inconvenience. No. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. No. But I'll think of a way to make it up to you. <laughs> You're good. It's fine! Oh, no Delegation is fine! This will be a walk in the park for us. Don't talk down about yourself! Thanks again, you two. I really can't deal with that lady. No, well, that's fair. Okay. So. In this direction. Oh, those tables are so cute, though! <laughs> These little umbrellas are adorable. Okay. The waterway hub. Did I miss a... I think I missed a teleport waypoint. It's fine. Hello. Uh, hello? Is there anyone here? I mean, it is kind of late. Oh, hello there. New customers? Looking to buy? Or do you need something made? Or perhaps you're just looking for a chat with me. Pockets. Ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. Aww. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Wow. So, is Lenny actually loaded? It's probably not Lenny, given how big they were. I can't Oh, sure. no, it is. But who knows? Hmm. Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Hey, is this for she what you 
used to make stuff here? It looks really advanced. Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. And wasting is a kind of crime. Like, metaphorically, or...? But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Ah, uh, well... It's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. But basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. Sorry? How? 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 Huh? How can trials produce energy? Oh god, same wavelength again. Alright. No, I'm not completely sure of all the details myself. But basically... When a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in wow. justice and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. I don't like the term harvests. I do not like that we just got through with the harvesting dreams thing. I... Okay. Right. So that's what its other function is? <sighs> was created by the Archon to make judgments. Questioning it is also a crime? I wouldn't be surprised! Yeah, um, a machine that absorbs the people's belief in the notion of justice. Um, that sounds like if it's the power source for the city, they need constant trials to, to make sure that they get enough power for the city, which means no way in heck everything, every single trial is, um, you know, infallible. Ah. But Well, you know, gods. Oh, yeah. So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the machine to take the Let's not out, Bunchy. <laughs> and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Besides Indemnidium, we have another type of energy called Numusia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. <sighs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already talking, mm. I'm sure you wouldn't mind a few words with me. I have a sword. I'm not afraid to use it. Y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to Conferee of Cabrier by next month? Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% today. Wait, no, 70%. Huh? You. Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the material. Time on! Maybe now's a good time to leave? Traveler! Hey, hold on. Before you go to collect payments. Why don't you settle your own debts first? If Confrere of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of mora. So why don't we work things out between us first, before you get back to your little conversation here? Ah, uh, you're from uh, Northland Bank. You uh, <laughs> said we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? Please throw his words back at his face. Traveler, Paimon, I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. But what are the chances? I'm so scared. We're surprised to see you too. What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Stejnaya? Uh, Fontaine is a real curious place. <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. Hmm. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who are, always seem to find trouble. Are we good friends? I mean, we're a good source of entertainment. <laughs> I'm on Traveler Tartar Sauce! Either way you look at it, it seems things are Winnie. going to get a lot anyway. more interesting now. Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Traveler? Hi, Mom, did you forget the first, like, five minutes since we when we walked in here? Uh, okay. 
Uh, we've weathered enough storm. Eh, we're gonna have to weather more storms. Mm, uh, hey, you, Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? Y you want him to notice you? All right, your funeral. Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Oh, you don't know who he is. Oh, you're in danger. Listen to me, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? So this guy has, like, no regard for his own life. So... Record scratch. Well, let's, let's see what happens. Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tusser ice oh, fishing, Tusser said, Hey, that's way over the line. All right, boys, let's see who has to pay up now. Yeah, their funeral. Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients. Ah. You're the ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? I mean, I don't think our word is going to hold up for much, but I'm sure that, uh, the black, or not blacksmith, but, you know, person over here will, 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 will cover it. It's fine. Go. Do, do the thing. Sure have fun. Long. The only time that it needs crits. Oh, no. Don't do him like that. He'll come after you next. Be careful. Ooh, do I have to play as him? <gasps> yes. Okay. Ooh, what what weapon is he using? Okay. Um. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> oh no, that guy's gonna fall forever. <laughs> oh, oh, they're still out here. That's so cute. Wait. Oh, never mind. Uh. Turn into a cat. Polar star. Oh. How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Oh, he's an idiot. Got it. Don't tell me you're... How do you not recognize a harbinger? They wear, like, special outfits. And they have, like, the... the they got things. Oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Idiot. Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Oh, wait, what? Now's my chance. Did his hydrovision get revoked? Can can they do that? Wait, but I thought that I I, I thought that the the visions weren't given by the the archons. What? You can still kick your ass though. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. That was weird. That's really, really weird. Um, you good? I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. Maybe there's something wrong with my vision? Can they malfunction? Strange. How could that happen? What? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. Um, that has ramifications. So Careful. What are you doing in Fontaine, child? I don't see its work for Northland Bank. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. What? Huh? What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. Oh, it's time for his character arc. But recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. Mm. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. So, like, are you going through puberty again? <laughs> a possibility abyss power i can't remember if i ever mentioned it before but when i was 14 i fell into some unknown abyss 
It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through, and she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was because I had awakened it, and traces of it remained on me. She said that all my combat training would be useful in the future. But what is it? What did you awaken? Abyss she never explained power? It, but my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, you summoned a huge whale that seemed to leap at us. Is that the one? <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. And you can buy a plushie of it if you really wanted to. Yeah, it's normal. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. Really? I feel like I'd do something like that. Yeah, Abyss. So why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the answer. One does not simply enter the Abyss. Except for us every, uh, whatever cycle. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk and that unknown abyss. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling into the abyss. Oh, it sounds like some kind of ghost story. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, Seems the time really flies when I'm talking yeah, with you. Yeah, it's day again. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be, so I should get going. What? More work for the Northland Bank? Uh, no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job to duel? Yep, in Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court. They're given one oh. chance to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion duelist. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best. And the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stopping point. So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. That's a weird law. I was also in Ishgard, so I still think it's a weird law. And the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. Is it really the worst case? Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. <laughs> We're going to be the first to be uh, sentenced to death, aren't we? Oh, no. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Cloren, is the strongest of the champion duelists. I had been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Well, that's child for ya! Hmm. Paimon feels like we heard that name somewhere before. <laughs> I am terrible at remembering names. <laughs> me too. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Oh? What? Why? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So, I think I'll be better off without it for now. Besides, 
I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. Okay, maybe you're the one who's gonna get arrested then. Hyman knows what hmm. you're up to. You just want an excuse to come talk to us again, don't you? He wouldn't have to make an excuse. He'd just find us. <laughs> he would just hunt us down and talk to us again. <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch later. He really does trust us, which is interesting. Hold on, in the Vision Hunt decree in Inazuma, when someone separated from their vision, doesn't that, like, have ramifications on them? Maybe it's different if it's freely given? I, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, okay, because it was forcibly taken. Wait, Kuki gave up her vision? I, I had no idea. I don't have her, so I didn't get to read the character stories. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's only if it's forcibly taken. All right, that's fine then. I mean, theoretically. Oh. Wow. Who could have seen that coming? The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along. I... Uh... <laughs> I'm worried that that's not a murder mystery novel and that's just a case that's happened. Um, we were loitering here for a while, huh? It's here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing House. Both have their merits, but Paimon thinks this style of novels are more, well, novel. It's so exciting to reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one Paimon was just reading. You should buy a copy and read it too. You already spoiled who the murderer was. Oh, sorry about that. Paimon will be more careful next time. I mean, at that point, it's anticipation of how did they do. Uh, hey, shouldn't we be heading to the opera house to see Linny's performance soon? It's almost time for the show to start, so we should get going. Can I go Linny's grab the teleporter? The Uh, so up here is towards the... Actually, I should be able to just navigate. There. Okay. That should make it a little bit easier. <gasps> Teleport! Hello, I am here to steal your stuff. A carrot! Alright. Oh! Well, I guess that is a steam bird. Wasn't quite expecting that. Oh! What's up? Uh, never mind. I think I haven't unlocked it yet. Okay. Up? Up. Oh. Where's the... Well, I guess I'm about to climb. Um, can I stand on this? Yes, I can. Okay, 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 okay. I hope this isn't illegal. <laughs> water um i should be able to climb that i think let's try not to use my stamina wait why am i not using stamina that's interesting <laughs> i see oh <gasps> wait can i not Wait, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall down here and I'm gonna use Kazuha. Also, I see. I see the thing. Uh, arara? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't do a French accent. 
I can't. Oh, the, yeah, the stars in Sumeru are so useful. So you can't actually... Oh, that's actually really cool. Ha! I have bypassed your silly walls. That's a lot of teleports. That's underwater, I assume. Oh, these books. Okay, but, but I, I get that, but what, what book? Hidalga? Hidalga? That sounds like a Square Enix spell. Event. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's okay. Casa has already been on the run before. I'm not picking up world quests. I can't, I can't quest block myself. <gasps> Look at this dapper poodle. <laughs> Can you even see? <laughs> you can't. Can you see? You're looking at me. <laughs> He's on duty. But like, <laughs> his eyes are covered. Oh my god, look at the tail! It's a little boom mic! They have a rough time seeing. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm freaking poodles. Okay. I don't know. I do feel like that he's uh, a little bit uh, more bark than bite. Anyway. Petition to- <laughs> Petition to- to kidnap the dogs? <laughs> I still actively refuse to use that lift. So, down here. Wait, it's up now? What do you mean it's- what do you mean? Why- why is it up? It was down before. The lift's quick. I no longer have trust in lifts. I am gonna do it- It's okay, I can be the Aquabus. It's me, the bus. <laughs> Why was there an artifact in here? Okay. There we go. Uh, I guess I have to ride this then. Hello! Immediately. All right. All right. Welcome to the Navia Line. I am Elfan. The boat will be departing imminently. Please do not stick your head, hands, or other body parts outside the boat. The Aquabus operator is not responsible for any accidents or injuries resulting from doing so. Part of me really wants also, to jump off. Please remember to buy the Steambird. Part of me really wants to jump off. The destination of the current tour is Arimias. Points of interest worth visiting include the Fountain of Lucene and the Opera Epiquess. If you look to the left in the direction we are currently traveling, you will see the famous Fontaine Research Institute up in the sky. An experiment gone wrong turned oh. into a new sightseeing opportunity. Human ingenuity truly is a wondrous thing. Oh, goodbye, bird. Oh, you get an achievement for staying on the whole way. Oh, wait, really? You so you can actually just jump. I'll 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 sit here for one. I'll sit here for one. Afterward, I will dash off like cat I am. We are now approaching our final destination. Please be sure to bring all your personal belongings with you as you disembark. Even though oh, I will the other take one is any longer? forgotten items to the lost and found, the 
work is rather annoying as mouths and hands are not suitable for grasping pens. Oh. Please be careful when disembarking. It has been my honor to be your tour guide this trip. Thank you. Wait, no, I love you. You're wonderful. Thank you. Also, Loki, why haven't they made a pen? Specifically for your hands. You'd think they would have. Why are there potatoes in here? Okay. Yeah, no, that's actually genuinely really cozy. It it feels like a <laughs> it, it does actually feel like I'm a tourist or something on there. Where am I going? Oh, okay. Well, I'm probably just gonna run along the next one. Ooh, swans. I wonder if the swans are jerks of this world, too. Let me just steal this. Mine now. You didn't see anything, officer. I love how tired that melusine sounded. Puppy! Oh, these are all the floppy-eared dogs. Look, you're like a little bread. <laughs> oh, you're like a little, little pastry. That's adorable. Do I use the interactive map to keep track? I should. Anyway. <laughs> Another puppy! Hi. Oh, did you make a little noise? Hello. Your, your hat is so silly. <laughs> no, no, there are, there are cats who like dogs. There are dogs who like cats. Oh, he's laying down! That's so cute! Wait, wait, wait. Hello. Okay, I'll move along now, before I accidentally call you in the face. Ooh. Cool. I can't wait to get arrested or see someone get arrested. Something's going to happen. Oh, it's day now. forward to it. Huh. Looks like there's a lot of people standing around the fountain up ahead. Oh, Archon. Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. One of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Vache. Um. Oh no. We're getting. Uh oh. What's wrong? Vache. Vache. Uh. No, that didn't sound like Paimon at all. Oh, the fountain is actually the tree. Hmm. No, Paimon didn't say anything. Are you hearing things? Oh, Welcome good. To the Fountain of Lucine. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Hey, do you know about a vache? Ah! <gasps> Annette! You scared Paimon! Mm. Oh, whoops. When he asked me to wait here for you, remember? Uh, right. Hey... Do you know Vache? What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. Can the fountain talk? <gasps> hey, you're not trying to scare Paimon, are you? Besides, it's the middle of the day. It's not the oh, time God. for scary things. Did they turn the tree into a fountain? Hmm, I see. 
I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your huh. hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. It's because of his sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? When do you cry, Paimon? Always. Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. When do you cry? Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Overwhelmed oh, with emotion? Oh, when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. I'm not sure whether I buy it. So, oh. what did the voice say? Um, Vache. Huh. If you were hearing their emotions, then Paimon wonders what happened to them. Is that an Inazuma? Huh. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry oh, about my brother first. Mia. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. Fair. So chatting with Winnie might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Linny. Gestionnaire? What does that mean? Eh. Ah! Okay. Let's see. Okay. All right. I'm going to see like what else is on here actually. Um rules. Rules? The love prize organized by the Steambird and the most prestigious and famous media award in all of Tevat is used to recognize and commemorate the greatest individual and collective achievements in media, including newspapers, magazines, journals, and other media fields. Uh, okay, so they're doing that today. That's cool. Public trial performance. Public trial against Hordler is for a series of criminal acts disrupting the public order and other crimes. The subject of this public trial is Horler. Uh, currently self-employed, he is accused of challenging the authority of the Mason Gaudian French and impersonating the M Maison, Maison Ga Ga Gaudian Net Ga Ga uh, to enforce the law. The investigation discovered that the defendant was not guilty of violating the usage agreement for advertisement boards. However, the accused confessed to crimin criminal behavior, including illegal performances in a maritime harbor impersonating reception personnel from the Fontaine Research Institute, among other crimes. The final verdict. Wow, okay, all of this is just on this board. The Eodex and the Oryxis Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale judge that the defendant is guilty of multiple crimes and will be sent to the fortress of Maripide to serve his sentence. I wonder where that is. In accordance with the relevant laws and regulations, visitors must be properly dressed when entering the Opera Epicles. Should your attire not meet the prescribed standards, staff members have the right to refuse entrance. Um, public trial against the serial burglars of the Court of Fontaine. There's a lot on here. Can I say three times fast? No. <laughs> the subjects of... This collective trial concerns two members of a gang of burglars. I'm, I'm surprised that there's so many, like, trials on here, I guess? Uh, okay, impersonate. A lot of impersonation. The... They used a duel. And applied for it, then discovered that they were... Okay, so that's where the impersonation came in. Final verdict. Okay, I, I'll, I'll, I can try to say it. Okay. Oratrice mécanique. Nope. Oratrice mécanique d'analyse cardinal. Oratrice mécanique d'analyse cardinal. Oratrice mécanique d'analyse cardinal. I don't think that was fast enough, but uh, I tried. <laughs> Listen, I can do 
Other tongue twisters. This is not one of those. French is not a language I can speak. <laughs> How much is the death of Aurelius? As the black day draws near, Aurelius fell. Aurelius fell and the whole world trembled. Huh. Okay. Pick up their tickets. Assign seating. No outside food is... <gasps> I'm trying to see, like, if there are any funny laws on here, actually. No outside food. Okay. Um, serious offenses will be prosecuted. Okay, I, I thought for a second it was just in accordance with the, uh, the, the food law. If you bring in popcorn, you're gonna be sentenced to death. Magic show. Alright. Water tank escape trick. Oh, I hope things don't go badly. Hmm... A concert? Okay. <laughs> Objection! How does this performance include no hymn to the Archon? We strongly protest this. It is blasphemy and should be judged. Well, anyway. Wow. That's weird for... For... The citizens not having really much respect for her, they... Certainly do posture it. Oh, okay, I guess that's it. All right. Hello, am I allowed in? Am I dressed enough? Wait, I'm bringing in 90 chickens. I don't know if I'm going to be allowed in. Oh? Ah, Traveler and Paimon. Good to see you. I knew you two would come. Are you kidding? We want to miss it for the world. We've been looking forward to it. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment, I'll... Oh, oops, sorry. I clicked too fast. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and That's here nice. are your tickets. That's probably pricey, actually. Thanks. Ooh, oh, wow, actually. Thanks, Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. What's in it for? Hey, Lenny, could you come over here and take a look at this? Uh, question, because I don't remember his design. Was the teardrop on his face red earlier? Or am I just imagining things? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. Uh, sure. Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. You go ahead, Lenny. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just check the character archive. Just, just to check. Was it red? Was it red? No, I'm, I'm just going crazy. It's because he's surrounded by so much red. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Time to watch everything go to, go to shit. Oh. <laughs> I went the wrong way. This way. Oh. Um... Wow, this is a really big theater. Wait, is there like balcony seating up there? Oh, there is! Ah! Uh, wait, are we next to Farina? <laughs> wait, no, can I change my speed? Oh, no, 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 that's Nouvellet, that's Nouvellet. Can I change my seat anyway? <laughs> oh no. Uh, it's like we're gonna get arrested. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, traveler. Maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty still. It's kind of awkward if we don't say anything. Yeah, we don't have phones to go on. Uh, you got this. Uh, you little... Of course you put this on Paimon. 
Excuse me, I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. Okay. First impressions, tentatively, okay. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Okay. Oh. Hi! Oh. So yeah, we're not quiet. Heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. Uh, wait, that's not it. Paimon's sorry. Um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, so, let's talk, but, uh, what should we talk about? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Okay. You seem pleasant. Wait, are your ears, like, pointed? Huh. Are you, like, a mermaid or something? Oh, so you're not friends with Linny, then. Are you the water dragon? Wait a second. Ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Wait, actually... If he was the water dragon, that would explain why Farina wouldn't have that much power. That's just me throwing things at a wall. <laughs> sitting cross-legged? I mean, um, I'm actually also sitting like that currently. <laughs> nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Vaudane. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tavad. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am not allowed to tell us oh, her name. Monsieur Nervillet. No, Nervillet is to have you here to see my show. Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Uh, wait, Nervillet? Could he be? Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillet is. Yeah, we know like nothing about Fontaine, really. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too oh. much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Shouldn't that be the Archon? Hmm. Ooh! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to. <coughs> There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. Oh, she's also early. Oh, I guess she, like, basically lives here. <laughs> the master of masters, I believe huh? she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. No, no, this is the second impression. Uh, kind of soured, uh, first impressions. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become... flustered. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is freaking dramatic theater, kid. Just sitting there waiting to be noticed. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, all right. Huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> she sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. Guess she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Imagine if we just never noticed her. I think that would be really funny. <laughs> Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. <laughs> We may now enjoy the show. <laughs> oh my gosh, I like you. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right, please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Yay! The show is finally about to start! Paimon can hardly wait! Paimon's never seen a real live magic show before! Ooh, do we get to watch it? Do we get to watch it? Oh, they're dimming the lights. The show must be starting. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Paimon will try to stay quiet. 
Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. <laughs> Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. Oh ho. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Ah! A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. <sighs> hmm. Oh! So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. Ooh, it did say a water trick. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely, right before your very eyes. It's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Oh no, I told them to check all the props carefully. This is part of the show, right? Yeah. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. <laughs> Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi. <laughs> the oh no. Oh, he's having fun. Yeah, I was just constantly worried that something was going to go terribly wrong. But I guess it didn't. A famous magician. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. His eyes are interesting. Anyway. Huh, guess you're right. Hyon couldn't believe 
believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. Magic pockets? The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now... There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. Hey? I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> A swap! Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now, please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow! How's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? Uh, let's see. The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Um, let me see. Oh, row seven, seat three. Congratulations! You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. Okay. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You oh. might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Me too. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60, 59, 58. Just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh, kinda wants to count faster Maybe don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, he can do it. No, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 59, 58. 60, 59, 58. That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. 54, 53, 52? Why aren't you counting, Merbelette? I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. Oh, all right. You looked so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. 40, 39, 38! Mr. Linny, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction of the magic. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, midair right above the audience. Even though he's saying that, Linny doesn't seem nervous at all. Yeah, probably just part of the show. Bang. <gasps> what was that noise? Did you hear it too? Maybe Not distraction? Sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 25! 24! 23! What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. 
I can't tell left from right. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry. We still I think have this is all part of the act. Hear them counting? 19, 18, 17. Oh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Oh. Ten. Almost there now. Eight. Whew. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven. Hey, slow down. Six. Honestly. Five. Four. Three. Uh, whoops. Two. That doesn't count. Nice. Where's the audience member? <laughs> Wait, are they going to be missing? What? Oh! like the start of an Ace Attorney case. Huh? Is this part of the show? I just thought that someone was, like, the, they were gonna open it and there was gonna be no one in there. Woo! Oh, I was not expecting death. Uh... Mr. Lenny, you're going to use magic to fix the stage now, right? Um... What happened? Yeah, that's not good. Oh, no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was in that box, right? Check. This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> yes, th that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice! No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced oh, dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. It... Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowl in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. Uh-oh. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances. Oh of no, is he about to be framed? Uh, the, the serial disappearances case? <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before. Oh boy. <laughs> I know. No. I know the truth. No. The whole thing. Stop. Really? Using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? I say that our powerful magician, oh, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. You have no actual evidence. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. No. This all occurred during your magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? I feel 
like the deceased being one of his assistants is not really grounds for anything. And also, like, that just means it could be anyone in the troop. <sighs> and anyone could have messed with the... with the, the selecting machine. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know if she's aware or not. I feel like she's kind of pulling this uh, <laughs> out of nowhere. Like, she's just trying to bravado this, I think, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Now that I think about it, oh my god. The whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. The world doesn't revolve around you. That can't be right. How can Lily do this? He's definitely one of the suspects, but he's not, like, the prime prime suspect, necessarily. Just because, like, it really could be anyone in the troop at that point, or anyone behind the stage. He was in the box on the stage the entire time! We can even hear his voice! Hmm. Because, like, and also the big thing is more just the announcing of, oh, this is the prime suspect to the entire audience sort of a thing. That's not great. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that he's the culprit. But then again, mm, I'm trying to think of the Arlecchino thing. Anyway. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. Yeah, he's a suspect the most. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Liddy and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think that he... Oh, forget... Well, a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. Yeah, she's just Peter kidding it up, and the problem is that has consequences when you're in a position of power, and I don't think she was aware of that. But what Lady Farina said just now That's the problem! Sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. Yep, that's not good. A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Oh, I'm not enabling her. I'm saying that, like, she very much just doesn't know the consequences of her actions, I guess, in this case. I don't think this is intentional, but she's gonna double down. Yeah, she's doubling down. Of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. She... I don't want to say she's spineless, she has a lot of bravado, and she has a lot to prove. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. That's right. I mean, you, Traveler. What? You support Lenny, won't you? I'm not a lawyer! Oh, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. Oh my god, okay. I trust Lenny. <laughs> No We're all. not dueling you know, each other! And I already <laughs> the first time Girl! Met. But with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. That wasn't a duel! <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. Nouvellet, Nouvellet, please. Please, contain the child. <laughs> so, no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles. Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. I understand. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Oh my god. Imagine ever ha imagine having a fair trial. Well, traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you, are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend him in this case? You have no law training! You don't know the laws in Fontaine! Very well. The trial uh, okay. will be a day from now in the Opera House. One day?! Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing I... it. 
We have no resources? You have an entire, like, guard to, to, to investigate. I... Uh... One day, all right. Sorry about everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? I just, are you okay? Of course. Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? I personally don't think so. Not intentionally. It could be manslaughter instead of murder. Good to hear. Thank you so much for trusting me. Also, something something Ace Attorney. Believe in your client. <laughs> I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries. Such that all that's left is confusion. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not. And I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I am afraid I don't have any answers either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Yeah, it's weird. Which is precisely why we need to investigate. As this book says, <clears throat> the impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. Farina does ultimately hold the final verdict, according to Hida. Yes and no. It seems like it's her device that's making the decision. And where did she get the glasses from? Oh, yeah. Where did you get those glasses? <laughs> Paimon bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? I... No worry. Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't from our travel funds. When did you earn money? I think they look cute on you, Paimon. That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <sighs> Thanks for that. We'll be counting on you. No problem. I have no law degree. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm used to being dragged into all sorts of situations. Yeah, just leave it to us. Well, that's true. Why didn't we get... Yeah. Oh, well, I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. We... Okay, this is an investigation. The Please comply. Our magic are past saving, Linny. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic shows Aww. a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. Hi, welcome. Um, we've already, within like 10 minutes stepping into Fontaine, got nearly arrested. Um, uh, well, I mean, I guess it's been a day now, technically. But yeah, within a day, we nearly got arrested. We met Tartar Sauce. Um... Uh, watched a magic show, and now it's Ace Attorney. <laughs> it's water Ace Attorney time. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage in the seating areas. Alright, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Paimon is on the case! It's us at every mation, but the thing is, this is the first time it's happened that fast. Like a personal arrest warrant from the <laughs> the Archon for no reason. She still has the glasses. Uh, hello. We are the attorneys, apparently. Pause screen, Paimon. I will once it frees me. Ah, uh, I see. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. Listen, I'll be perfectly honest with you. 
I'd avoid getting mixed up in this whirlpool of a mess if I were you. Huh? What do you mean? Come with me and you'll see. Mm -hmm. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. The assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. Why is the body outline so goofy? As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with cowl inside it. But why? This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and were unable to find any traces of the girl. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most likely person to have access to all these areas. But he doesn't have a motive! Are you both good friends of his? Uh, well, you can't say we're good friends, but we've known each other for a little while. The outline's looking bold and brash. So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorney. We agree to everything, Esmond. I... that's really not... Uh, it's par for the course, really. I know there's no such thing as magic. The real trick of a magician is holding the audience in the palm of their hand. I've seen a lot of cases, and I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. Uh, I hesitate to agree, actually. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. I actually do kind of, sort of. People... Memories are really fickle. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. Oh god, it's Ace Attorney. We're gonna find a piece of evidence that's gonna come up in the- Oh my god, we're actually- <laughs> Wait, is this actually his attorney? Alternatively, this could be Tears of Themis, which also is a mystery game. All right, and the investigation from the guards indicates that the fireworks launched at the tail end of the magic performance set the rope dangling the water tank alight, causing the tank to fall and kill Cowl, who was within it. It seems evident that Linny is the likeliest user of the prop to commit a crime. However, the reason for the victim being Cowl and the reason for the chosen lady's disappearance remain mysteries. The deceased's identity. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cowl. He was well trusted by all of his colleagues. His job was setting up and in inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. Ah, oh, shoot. It... Ah... Uh, it's... I want to do this now. I really want to do this now. It, uh... Oh, pause the screen. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Wait, no, that's really cute. Wait, that's amazing. Can we have like little outfits for Paimon from now on? Can we just keep that on her? <laughs> okay. These workers can be open quickly. Oh, okay. So I can click that. Whoever the murderer was. Oh my god! Made preparations well <laughs> Wait, that's so freaking cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, as much as I want to do this right now, it is. It, it, it is a uh, kind of getting late. Um, I am though going to continue on Friday rather than doing a variety day. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. Um, I did say I was gonna run a little bit over, but uh, yeah, it's also gonna be a mile. All right, all right. I I feel less bad about stopping now. Oh, I really want to do the Ace Attorney stuff though. I I really like mysteries. Play till 4 a.m. No, no, no. I already did that with Starrell. I played till like 7 a.m. on on Patch Drop. <laughs> oh, I'm at the half point, halfway point of Act One. Yikes! That's good though, but also yikes. 
Um, yeah, I need to grab food, actually. <laughs> but that was very, very interesting. That. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm sure that a lot of people are raiding right now. Raiding? A lot of people are streaming right now that I can go raid. That is how language work. Uh, beep boop. You know what? Maybe I should come back. I'll, I'll come back and I'll be able to actually have a better brain. <laughs> Online HS HSR, this trailer didn't give a whole lot away. Uh, Inazuma's gave a lot away. I didn't actually... You know what? This one didn't. That's true. The other side... I think I'm gonna... I, I, I've, street, I've raided uh, Sayu before, so I think I might go with M this time. Question mark? I mean, a lot of people are streaming right now. 1.2 it was the entire quest. Re I don't remember watching the 1.2 trailer. I think that's what happened. <laughs> it's not Lynette got kidnapped. Okay, uh, I think I will read. And let me go here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here, there we go. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for 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 hanging out as I uh lose my mind <laughs> in a good way. Don't get arrested before Friday. It's Fontaine. There's a real chance I'm gonna get arrested for breathing. Like I'm I'm gonna walk in with like a taco on Tuesday, and they're gonna be like, Taco Tuesdays are banned, and I'll be like, what? <laughs> Okay, uh, but yeah, I will be back on Friday because this is fun. So, thank you guys and take care. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much more to say. Bye-bye. <laughs>